Alrighty, what is going on guys? Edward here back with another video. Um, this is going to be part three about um, this review on Clarity Algo indicators since uh, Mamba FX um, was starting to, to talk about it. And I was interested in, in just seeing what the actual indicator does. I just simply went to clarityalgo.com and this is the actual thing. All right, this is the actual indicator. I just wanted to give my personal opinion, okay, what I think about an indicator, okay, that without knowledge, an indicator is definitely not going to help you at all. You have to understand market structure, how the market moves, okay, you have to uh, understand a lot of other things before you start actually using indicators, okay, that's the main thing. So if you're, if you're looking to get any type of indicator, even like, especially if if it's a purchase, right? If it's an indicator that you need to buy or you are looking to buy, you have to understand that you have to know price action, okay? Before you get any type of indicator, not just this one, it could be any other indicator, okay? If you're thinking about buying an indicator, just thinking that because you're getting a paid indicator, it means you're gonna make money right away. No, it's not like that. You need to learn you need to understand price action you need to basically know how to trade before you even get the indicator just just you know just like that okay so yes this indicator comes with a bunch of other options uh they have like a 12 other options in there within it um just right there you see but not just because the market is telling you to buy, you're going to buy. Not just because it's telling you to sell, you're going to sell. Or not just because the market is below the 20, right there, EMA, it, you're going to sell, right? Not just because the market is actually touching the cloud right there, which is it looks like some sort of cloud or uh, channels. I don't know if, if there's an, also another indicator. I uh, forget the name of this this channel. It's a, yeah, I will look for it later and I will, I will actually show it to you. But... You know, just just having an indicator just like that, it literally does not does not help. All right, and this is a very expensive indicator, by the way. You have to pay monthly for that. I mean, I have nothing against this, but they have to specify here that guys, you need to know, you need to learn. This is not for starters. This is not for beginners. You need to learn. You need to know price action. You need to know how to trade in order to then be even considering getting an indicator. Okay. Now, at the moment, what I'm going to show you right here is. An, uh, an, um, an actual alternative okay this is free this is completely for free you can it's just another a couple of indicators that i use okay if you don't know exactly what indicators i'm using i did post two videos before this one and i'm going to post it right here in the corner you can just watch those and see how i set them up okay it's basically these two indicators right here and the rsi okay so this one is called cmema trend bars and super trend Okay, as I mentioned, just go on the previous videos if you want to see the settings and everything that I use. Basically, you can see here, this is a 20, this this line, this moving average is a 20 exponential moving average. So um, every time you can see that every time the price is below the 20 moving average, the candles entirely, they turn red. That's what this indicator does. Okay, it makes the candles entirely red. And when the price is above, it, it turns them green, right? No biggie with that, right? It's just, it, it, it gives you less noise i would say right so uh the idea with this and and this is what is important what i'm going to show you right now i'm going to show you an entire plan and an entire strategy based on this okay which is something that of course the uh, clarity algo is not showing here they are just offering the indicator they're not telling you what type of plan right it's up to you right there you get the indicator yeah you get it once you get it, what are you going to do with it? How you're going to trade it? You don't know, right? So you have to start looking or and building a plan, building a strategy based off of that, right? So what I'm going to give you right here, which is with these three indicators and for free, it's it's in a strategy and it's a very simple. You just simply go, you can look for breakouts, trend breakouts. Um, Mamba FX, he also explained, he also is a breakout trader. He also trades breakouts. He explained that this is how you can also, it, it works better and on whenever you train uh, trend breakouts i'm not in this trade this is a live the market is actually moving right now it's on a one minute that's the cool thing you can use this in any time frame all right use it in any time frame and it's gonna uh work 
the same, okay? So basic, basically what we're looking for here is you're gonna pay attention to, uh, of course, the break. You draw your trend line, okay, that you're clearly seeing there. And as soon as it breaks, you see one single candle, you have to see that the break of the candle is one single candle and big candle, okay? Battery of the candle closing. Not just that, you're, you're gonna look for confluences. What are you confl or your confluences in this case? Um, hold on. What are your confluences? We're gonna write them up here, okay? First confluence, my God, this colors, I don't like them at all. All right, there we go. So first confluence, we can say, um, okay, so price, uh, yeah, yeah, price has to break your trend, okay? First rule. Second rule, um, the indicator, right? Pay attention to, to this, right? Market, of course, is also breaking the 20, right? It's breaking the moving average and it's turning red, right? And while it's turning red, you see that if you look at the RSI, okay, you have to be below the 50% on the RSI, okay? So you are below the 50% on the RSI. So let's see, below or above, of course, if you're downtrending or uptrending, whatever. So you have to be either, um, you need to be a, either below or above the 50% on the RSI, okay? Second rule, or, say, or th I'm sorry, third rule, third confluence, okay? You have to see that this indicator also, the uh, super trend is giving you the signal. You see this little red dot right here? That's the actual signal. Super trend indicator is giving you the actual sales signal, okay? So super trend has to give you the signal all right whatever signal is if it's to buy or to sell right that's what matters so, and of course you understand that you have to be below the 20 in this case right so for confluence all right obviously it's you have to be below the 20 ema below or above the 20 ema Simple as that. You just take notes. You start having your plan. This is a, an actual good plan that you can have here, right? And you're going to simply follow this all the time. I promise you guys. I guarantee you. Just do this for an entire week and just come back to me. Do this for an entire week. Follow this. Of course. Oh, another thing, very important, which is part of the plan that nobody mentions. Important to know when to trade. Again, you can actually write it down in there. Number five, you have to be on London, uh, London or New York session. Okay, I think I did explain that this also on the previous video, but very important. Okay, sessions, right? Not trading during Asian session, market tends to consolidate a lot. All right, so you spot a trend and you wait for the breakout, okay? Once the breakout is happening, immediately the super trend indicator should give you the sell signal right there. You have to be below the 20, you have to be in this case below the 50% on the other side. So you have all your confluences in your favor, you take the chance. Your entry would be as soon as that candle closes, right? Body of the candle closes, boom, that's your entry. Stop loss just above that candle, take profit. When are you gonna get out? Okay, that's another rule. When are you going to get out? Rules to get out of the trade. I'm giving you the entire plan right here, guys. This is how you build up a plan or a strategy. So how are you gonna get up or when? You see that we're still below the 20 and the candles are all red, right? You're gonna get scared here. Let's say this little candle right here starts breaking above the 20 and it turns green. Oh, that's a sign for you to do something. You should, I mean, you are, one of the things I always tell my students is that, you see, I'm trying to aim this previous low on the trend. So you are already halfway down. You should you should already be on break even for sure. You should already be on break even, right? Once you're halfway down, stops the break even. And let's put it there as part of the rule. So uh, once I'm half way down my target, move stops to break even. Okay. Um, if price breaks in this case if price breaks back 
up or down the 20 EMA, right? And the candle, ah, let's say it turns green in this case, right? That's a sign for you to either close your entire position, you know, or it uh, depends what you want to do. You want to keep holding, it's up to you. But that's a sign. That's a strong sign to maybe maybe close most of your positions. You know what I mean? And of course, you have to be on break even already. So you close most of your position and let it run. Let it run maybe if you want that to hit your target, okay? That way, guys, you can include. This is customizable, of course. You don't have to follow exactly what I'm showing here. You do what works best for you, okay? So understand everything that I'm showing you right now. This is basically how you trade, how you build up a plan and how you make a strategy work, okay? You could have whatever indicator is, but if you don't have a plan and you don't know when to apply it, when to use it, what time, at what time specifically, um, what time during the day, all of that stuff. If you don't have that, your strategy or whatever indicator you have is not going to help you at all. Okay. So let's see. You have a minor trend. Losses. Yes. Yes. Of course, you're going to have losses at the beginning. If you don't know how to draw your trends, mar market structure, this is why you need to understand market structure. This is what the market is doing. Market literally just broke, came back for retest. And boom, big, beautiful, bearish engulfing candle right there. Plus, you're getting all your confluences. You see the candle right there close, of course. Yes, I know. The stop is going to be maybe a little big right there. But you can hold. Let's say this time, right, you were holding, I don't know, maybe a one to four, whatever, right? And all of a sudden, you see the market reaching. I'd explained on the previous video that you could be aiming your zone, your at least your first to be somewhere here. Okay. So that should be your first TP. Maybe at that point, you move your stops to break even. Once you reach this zone, and you should be moving the stops to break even. This can be also part of your plan. Okay? Just, just take notes. Don't forget everything, you know, anything that I'm that I'm telling you here. So in this case, okay, let's see if we have all, all of our confluences. Market broke the 20. It broke the trend line, right, to confluences. With that candle, we are actually below now the 50% on the RSI. And we have... The signal given by the super trend indicator right so my entry right there as soon as it closes boom immediately stop here and take profit you know as i mentioned you let you hold it you can get scared at any moment you get scared or you move it on break even maybe as soon as you see the first candle turn green in this case right it's turning green that little pima right there it did turn green so that's a sign for you to perhaps hey you have to take some action you know what i'm gonna move this thing on break even yeah, because market may reverse and it will reverse. Believe me, it will reverse. Sometimes it's going to stop you out. This is like another strategy. There is no 100% strategy that works all the time. Okay, you will get stopped up. Okay, let's see if I can get two more examples. You see, there's always some sort of trends. On the one minute, you, you see a trend right here, a trend right here. There's always some sort of trend. Okay. Sometimes, depending on, on the pair, currency pair you're using, or crypto, or indice, or in this case, gold, you know, sometimes it's going to be complex. You know, it's not easy. It's definitely not easy all the time to spot. But if you, you know, if you have patience enough, maybe you, you, you're you going to have to let some trades go, right? If you don't see, if you don't have all your confluences, you're going to have some trades. You're going to have to let some trades go. Let's say you actually saw this potential entry and you saw like a break right there, but you see the market is breaking the moving average, but it has not broken the actual trend line just yet. And as a matter of fact, if you want to do the actual trend with the body, I normally try to aim the body, like something like that, from the bodies, right? So this is my trend right here. You see the price broke the 20 and even give you the signal, but you are kind of still above you know, the actual trend. So this is not good, all right? So go ahead and back this, guys, because that's what's going to uh, help you as well. If you don't do your own work, your back test, this also won't work, okay? Let's say you have this trend right here. Look at this. Sometimes it's going to be a little late. The signal can be a little late. But you had that little trend. The price broke, did not give you any signal just yet, and give you the signal right here on this one. Can you enter right there? 
consider that it's maybe a little too late to get in because now you have two candles. So this one broke already and this one is giving you there. So literally your entry will be there, uh, will be there, your stop, just very tight right there. And let's say you were aiming your take profit to that high, right? So what happened? Maybe it didn't, it didn't stop you out, but I mean, yeah, it didn't stop you out completely. Maybe it got you out on break even, right? Or you got scared here, yeah, after you get scared because the market actually turned red right there. Hmm. You move that on break even. As soon as you move it on break even, maybe it didn't stop you here. Almost, depending, maybe the spread did get you out. Or in this case, right here. Okay. So as I mentioned, guys, just do your back testing. Okay. I'm giving you an entire plan right here and a strategy, complete a strategy with this. This is not exactly the same indicator, but it has sort of the same uh, look, the same idea, okay? Because basically what matters here is that you see that when the price actually turning above, turns turns green, when it's below, it turns red, depending on what's going on, I see that you're using two, looks like it's, it's using two moving averages. See, one moving average right here and a shorter. So maybe this, I don't know, maybe this could be a 50, it depends. And it's just the colors, right? Just a little uh, flash here. So I hope it makes sense, guys. Let me know what you think and just try it out. Try it out for a week. And I want to I want to hear from you in the comments to see if it's actually working for you. Go on a demo and see how many little trends you can spot like that and, and go with it. Just take the chances on a demo, test it out, see how it works. Come back to me in the comment section, right? I would like, I would love to hear back from you guys. So if you're new on the channel, please subscribe. And if you want to see more videos like this, this is this is not something i do right if you might ask me do you trade this and i don't at the moment i don't my main focus right now is order blocks but i'm doing this because i had a couple of requests from a couple of followers so i'm sort of doing what they are requesting okay so if you want to see more videos like this just let me know in the comments as well i don't mind you know from time to time doing something a little different so i hope it makes sense let me know what you think guys see you guys later